What is the skunk ape? With the exploits of Florida men and women dominating the headlines, it seems that the Sunshine State is a pretty strange place. But, for as weird as humanity can be, in the Florida Everglades, the far odder hominid known as the skunk ape can be found. Eyewitnesses describe male skunk apes standing between 6 and 7 feet tall and weighing in excess of 400 pounds, with females being smaller, standing 5 to 6 feet and weighing about 250 pounds. Their fur is typically black or reddish in color, and they possess four toes per foot and alternate between bipedal and quadrupedal movement. Their diets are said to be omnivorous. Although the vast majority of reports come from Florida, there have been encounters in North Carolina and Arkansas. Witnesses report their eyes shining, which is highly unusual for primates, given that they typically lack the layer of tissue behind the retina that would be responsible. The nickname of skunk ape comes from the foul odor they are reported to give off during sightings and leave behind afterwards. The earliest sightings of the peninsula's primate came in the 1960s, with Dale County receiving numerous reports in the fall of 1974. 26 years later, in the fall of 2000, the police of Sarasota County, Florida, received a letter from an anonymous woman. With letter were attached two photographs of what the woman said was an escaped orangutan who had been stealing apples from her back porch for three nights. The letter provided said the following, Enclosed, please find some pictures I took. My husband thinks it was an orangutan. Is someone missing an orangutan? It is in a crouching position in the middle of standing up from where it was sitting. It froze as soon as the flash went off. I heard the orangutan walk off into the brushes. I judge it as being about six and a half to seven feet tall. As soon as I realized how close it was, I got back to the house. It had an awful smell that lasted well after it had left my yard. The orangutan was making deep whoop noises. For two nights prior, it had been taking apples that my daughter brought down from up north off our back porch. It only came back one more night after that and took some apples that my husband left out in order to get a better look at it. We got a dog back there now, and as far as I can tell, it hasn't been back. I don't want any fuss or people with guns traipsing around behind our house. At the very least, this animal belongs in a place like Bush Gardens. Why haven't people been told that an animal this size is loose? Please look after the situation. I don't want my backyard to turn into someone else's circus. These photos were later found to be taken near the Mayaka River, but the sender has not been publicly identified. After the images were released to the public, cryptid enthusiasts dubbed the creature in the photograph the Mayaka skunk ape. In 2006, a Japanese primatologist claimed that the creature in the photo was someone in a costume, but no suit has ever been produced by the claimant. It seems pretty clear that the skunk ape is some type of Bigfoot-like creature. They're definitely on the smaller end, with males being 6 to 7 feet tall, but that's pretty explainable. Animals that live in warmer climates grow to be smaller than animals that live in colder climates, and Florida is one of the warmest states in the U.S., the four toes, as opposed to the typical five, is likely some form of mutation. Sasquatches do seem to somewhat resemble scaled-up versions of other primates. Paddy types look like gorillas, wood boogers look like chimpanzees, etc. And it seems like skunk apes are some type of orangutan relative.